Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's gospel, our Lord talks about the sheep and the flock and that there is one shepherd and there is one door. And see how all of this refers to the church, right? That our Lord is the shepherd and that we are his flock and we are one and there is one door and we follow uh, his voice that we hear. Now, I remember there was a time when I was talking to a Protestant and explaining to him how what we read in the gospel and in the other parts of sacred scripture, referring to the church, the people of God, really all indicates and points to the Catholic church, okay, which is one, okay, our faith, our one faith is what unites us, and we have one shepherd, and we are one flock, okay, not many flocks. And he said that our Lord is the shepherd and not the Pope. Okay, well, you know, if I agree our Lord is the shepherd, but we are not of the same flock, which means one of us does not actually have our Lord as shepherd, all right? If we have different faiths, we believe different things, that means one of us does not have, or logically perhaps even both of us, but we know that's not true, but we can't both have our Lord as shepherd. Okay? We're hearing a different voice. And you see the practical necessity of the papacy, that there be one visible vicar of Jesus Christ. It's a practical necessity or else the flock is going to be divided and the sheep are going to be scattered. And so thank God for the papacy. Thank God for his holy Catholic church, which is the one true flock, the only one that hears the voice of the shepherd and follows him to eternal life. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.